the human torch was denied a man <laughs> Welcome back to hey. Thirsty Thursdays, another beauty day in the prairie, yeah, week again. number 12. Yeah, Summer only lasts so long, yeah. and harvest so around the corner. What makes it a good day as well, payday. Payday. End of the month. Yeah, well, if it's uh, the day that we actually record, it's payday for you as a Mayweather fan. Yeah, have you seen the fight last Saturday? Something happened. What, what did happen? Something happened. Uh, you know, just the predictable happened is Mayweather's going to weigh out on McGregor, or, uh, sorry, play him out, wear him down, beat him down in the ninth, 10th round. But, uh, that's what's predicted and that's what happened, but, you know, you, you can't help but cheer for the underdog, and, uh, yeah. McGregor's quite the character, you really wish he would have won, but this only sets it up for them to cash in some more on a second fight, in my opinion. Yeah, Don't so be shocked if you see a num number two. We did discuss that last week on our previous show, so if you want to check out that one, we could put a little thing right there. It's it's not a cheap plug, it's not anything, but the little, little link is right there if you want to watch the last week's. On top of that, though, if you want to check out this week with right now, Triple T. Yeah, that's my favorite <laughs> part. <laughs> the hashtag Triple T. Thursday taste test, we'll do this quick. Let's do it. What do you got for me? This is always new. It's exciting. So we have the segue again, because last week we talked about this little trip to Toronto that Richard and I did. And while we were there, we went to well, the excited. What is it? Mill Street Brewery. Remember uh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The steam whistle. Mill, Mill Street actually has Mill Street. That was the artwork, first. right? That's yeah. an actual street, isn't yeah. it? Not? No, it's, it's, it's like a paved concrete yeah, way. Yeah, it's well, cobblestone. Cobblestone. It's yeah. old on the wharf or whatever you want to call and it. And so we walked by that Mill Street Brewery, and I remember drinking these lemon tea while we were there. Is that there. what it was? Oh. Yeah. And so these tall boys, right? You remember the tall boys in. This was between the time when we binge watched Breaking Bad. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> That was like the highlight of my trip to Toronto. It was like, hey, I don't have to work for like a week and a half, and everyone keeps talking about this show is so great. Yeah, and, and I'm so like, well, what do I got better to do than just watch Bring It Bad for like four hours every day in so the evening? What Rick, Richard and I would do is get, uh, well, like five or six tall boys. Yeah, just sipping beers. And, and uh, we'd go back and just watch Breaking Bad and binge watch. and. We would do Excellent this. show. Cheers. Yeah. So maybe this will bring a flashback to the old brain damage. Lemon tea beer. We would do cheers and cheers do. We would say, don't do that, Walter White. Man. Ah, oh, he, he killed blank. No spoilers. We're not going to spoil it. But anyway. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. It's not good unless everybody dies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You should better call Saul on that one. <laughs> See what you did there. It's clever. No, but not everybody dies. I'm not going to ruin it for you. The Lemon Tea Mill Street Brewery in Toronto. If you're ever in Toronto in that little market area. Oh. On that cobble, cobblestone road. Check there's a up. slight of a hint of lemon in the end in the afterbite, but it tastes like beer. It's very it's well like put a, together. Very though. slight hint of lemon in the end. But yeah, it's good beer. Reminds me of Toronto a little bit. That's tastes like good beer. I don't know. I'm not having no flashbacks. I'm sorry. I would, oh, I'm drinking it. beer, there's no real flashbacks. <laughs> so we also have a guest, and this is probably the biggest and most important guest that we've ever had, Arctic Keys' wife. Yay! So we'll bring her in, Ashley Keys. Yay! And they introduce that to the big studio audience and then you, you can hear that there. And last, last show, last show, talking about getting a puppy. Yeah, and that's dating back to last week again. This is all like a good segue to last week. So what do we tag her? What's her name, baby? Hashtag. Oh. Daisy Dimebacks. Yeah. Daisy, Daisy Dimebacks, yeah. There it is. 
And so, oh, oh, yeah, so purebred Chinese pugs, Ash's other baby. So, when did you guys get it? It was last week? Is when? Yeah, it was on Thursday. No, it was on um, Tuesday. Last week. I thought it was on Tuesday. No, it was last Thursday. <laughs> I've been Thursday. wearing the same underwear <laughs> since Tuesday. <laughs> it's the last Thursday, <laughs> Thursday that we got our puppy on. Um, I knew it was sort of the tea anyway. I drove all the way up to Leominster to pick her up from a good friend of mine. Um, Are they breeders like uh, yes. all the time? Yes. They have three pugs. Um, a black they only one. breed pugs? Yes. What's her name? Is Pug Matt? Pug that. Oh, <laughs> boo. Oh, do I have to leave us? Oh my god. Pug that. Do you want to know the yes. name? <laughs> oh my okay, god. Okay, so Brian Gogowicz okay. is. Um, <laughs> can't believe it. That's, no, you know, okay. that's a, such a bad pug. <laughs> that's such a bad pug. <laughs> Those are bad pug. <laughs> oh, <boom. laughs> okay, I get it. Um, so I get it now. Brian and Charlie Gogowicz are the breeders, and they have three pugs. I had to build an addition on the dog house. Cause I'm pretty much moved right into there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you got so, a roommate. <laughs> so I got a roommate, and it doesn't pick up after itself. I'll tell you. No, Leaving his shit laying around everywhere. Literally. <laughs> so does the dog too. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, both of them. Oh, two peas in a pod. What can I say? So you said Daisy dying back. How old is she? She's about 10 weeks old now. Ooh, that's summer dog then. Yeah. What else we got a plug here? Let's plug some stuff. This will be so a you good. guys all remember if you didn't watch last week how we met. Yeah, uh, we'll talk about reference back to that how that we went. DJ story. So we could, if you yeah, want to yeah. check out the old video on that one, right there, go yeah. put one there. But we'll tell a quick story about how Richard met Ashley, and you want to quickly run through the summary, or should we just there click on a, this link? <laughs> there's a full moon, oh. and the stars align. Yeah, and click on the link. And watch <laughs> line to spend. That's the actual story. Right. So we'll skip towards that and your guys are the wedding which was just over two years? Yeah. One year? Two years? Two years, two years ago. Two years ago. Yes. Yeah. We got married on our one year anniversary. There you go. As I was seven months pregnant with my son. Zero to a hundred. Yes. And go, go big or go back that way. <laughs> but yeah, I got married in dad's backyard. Me and Robert just cranked some tunes in the garage. So yeah, back, I had a huge family with, and everybody was all there. I was totally but down for it. Like, I did support on that. I sure. DJed yeah. enough weddings. I wanted to do something different. Nobody ever had done. And it was just, you know, borderline potluck backyard throwdown is what it was. So it was great. So everybody that mattered was there. Besides, you know, the few that just you know, scheduling interrupts, but like, well, you don't have no. Wedding crashers in the backyard. Anyways, <laughs> I remember that day so, so clearly. I was as big as a house and I danced my booty off. It was like a small condo, I'd say. It wasn't really a house. <laughs> Come on now. It was like a... Like, Double wide trailer. <laughs> no, I was going to say an RTM. Oh. Yeah, well, I was like, huge. Better get on building that room real quick. <laughs> so through all of that, we ended up at the point where you guys are living together and you got a nail studio going. I sure do. So Pinky's Nail Salon, like you boom, just boom. Yeah, <laughs> we're waiting for Richard to light a smoke, but boom. And so that's, yeah, Pinky's, and you have that. Your camera. nails did over here now. Come on! And cut knife. Yeah, I have my own uh, nail salon in the basement of my house. I provide um, gel nail services along with getting your toes done, get your toes gelled. Um, She's and, an artist. Yeah, I sure am. I like to. I like to make. Way too much time out, in my opinion, but it looks really good. 
I like to make them look good, yeah. and I do. And then also on top of that, you have the skin scarity. Skin scarity, not the skin skin scarity. Skin scarity. We'll do skin scarity. <laughs> Skin scary. Skin scary. Uh, yes, uh, new Saturday. New Saturday. Yeah, I started with an MLM company about. Okay, we'll do uh, new Saturday. <laughs> new Saturday. It's all the same family, right? Skin Saturday. All right, so that's uh, my wife in a nutshell right there. What she does. That's a full scoop on that, and so we will conclude this, I guess, with a shout out to anybody that. Really love pugs. Subscribe. Yeah. You gotta subscribe to a pug. Come, Come on. on. Pug. It, she's, Come on. She's sleeping, but I mean, we gotta get a picture. And if you love the pug, then subscribe to. And once again, uh, pug just, life. You know, plug new series, sincerity, and no, my pug and new series. Oh yeah, pug it. Pug while it. I chug it. Yeah. I'll I'll chug it while you pug it. Hey. Good pug. No. Oh, that's a very good pug. Look at that face. Oh, look at the little pug. Oh, she's just so cute. Oh, uh, she's so puggy. Make up your face. All right, we'll see you next Thursday. Bye. Bye.